My mom has been drinking and driving as long as I can remember. She drinks and drives every day. When I was 13 years old, my mom and I dropped my sister Holly off at our friend's house. When we were pulling out of the driveway, my mom backed into the neighbor's mailbox. As we started driving down the road, she kept hitting the curb and continued to do it. One time, she brought my children to the store with her and I found out that she had backed into another car and left the scene. I was furious because she was drinking with my children in the car. When I confronted my mom, she just played it off like it was no big deal. Well, John says his wife's first arrest was in 2009 when she got belligerently drunk and attacked him with a hammer. Now, since then, uh, he says this has become much more commonplace. Let's take a look. My mother, Shelly, has been arrested nine times. My mother went to jail for abusing my dad. One time I called the police because she completely destroyed the house. She threw things all over. Things were broken everywhere. My mom was going on one of her drunken rampages. Give me my key. So me and my sister Hillary called the cops on her. I was really drunk. I kicked the door in, knocked down knickknacks, kicked the door off the hinges. The time she was arrested, she's either hurting me, my sisters, or my father. She was arrested on New Year's Day about three years ago. We were celebrating New Year's Day. She was intoxicated, so she didn't go to that event. When my father got home from the event, she was aggressive. He kept asking her to stop, but she went and was being more aggressive, so he called the police on her. When John got home, I wanted a couple drinks. He said no, so I got upset. I threw the plate of cookies, so he called the cops. I went to jail again. It was not necessary for John to call the police on a plate of cookies. After this arrest, she was put on probation and went to live with her parents for about nine months. My father was granted a no contact order, meaning that my mother could not go to the residence. My parents separated for nine months, so she started being nice to him again, saying she was gonna work on things, making false promises. Throughout all her arrests, my mom has stayed in jail about 50 days total. I feel relieved when the police come for her because my mom deserves to be in jail for all that she has done to our family. Okay, so now, bullish. well, no, okay, listen, no, no, let's, let, let, let me take this apart here because you're talking about opinions here and I don't want to talk about opinions, I want to talk about facts. First, let's get a definition. Let's get a definition about what's normal and what's abnormal, okay? To me, normal is anything that does not interfere with healthy functioning and pursuit of goals. Abnormal interferes with healthy functioning and pursuit of goals. You've been arrested nine times. Mm -hmm. What do you figure the average is for the American female to be arrested? I don't know. Five? Take a guess. Five? Five times, you think the, okay, everybody in the audience that's been arrested five times, stand on your head. I've been arrested when I shouldn't have been arrested. Whether you should have been or not, you have been arrested nine times. 72709, disorderly conduct, battery, domestic, three days in jail. 72312, disorderly conduct, criminal damage to property three weeks in jail, 827.12, bail jumping, two days in jail, 1115, disorderly conduct, criminal damage to property. You just described on tape where you tore doors off, you threw them down the stairs, you punched holes in the wall. 315.15, probation violation, 517.15, probation violation, 616.15, probation, 711.15, probation, probation, probation. You don't follow rules because you're drunk. But he enables me. Family events missed due to alcohol. December 14, you missed your husband's 50th birthday party. September 15th, you missed Holly's wedding. January 15, you missed the family New Year's party. May 16, you missed the birth of Holly's daughter. Thanksgiving 17, no show. You don't show up for things that normally okay, he's someone in your position would show up I'm not talking to him, I'm talking to you.